Can a single element create materials that are revolutionizing science and technology? Welcome to the world of carbon allotropes. Carbon, the sixth element on the periodic table, is a master of disguise. It can take on many forms or allotropes, each with unique properties. Among these, three allotropes stand out for their incredible potential. Graphene, carbon nanotubes, and fullerenes. They share a common origin, but their unique structures give rise to a plethora of fascinating characteristics. Let's start with a little history. Graphene was first isolated in 2004 by two scientists who used nothing more than sticky tape and graphite, a common form of carbon found in your everyday pencil. This seemingly simple experiment unveiled a one atom thick layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice and won them a Nobel Prize. Next, carbon nanotubes, or CNTs, were discovered in the mid-1990s. These microscopic tubes are made of rolled-up sheets of graphene and have diameters as small as one nanometer. That's one billionth of a meter. Lastly, we have fullerenes, named after the architect Buckminster Fuller because their structure resembles his geodesic domes. Fullerenes were discovered in 1985, and the most famous fullerene, Buckminster fullerene, or buckyballs, consists of 60 carbon atoms arranged in a soccer ball-like structure. These allotropes are all made of carbon atoms, but their different arrangements result in vastly different properties. Graphene is incredibly strong and highly conductive. Carbon nanotubes are known for their flexibility and tensile strength, and fullerenes have unique optical properties. So, you see, the basic structure and properties of carbon lead to the formation of these fascinating allotropes. Let's dive deeper into graphene, often referred to as the wonder material. Graphene is a single, tightly packed layer of carbon atoms bonded together in a hexagonal honeycomb lattice. It's as thin as a single atom, earning it the title of the world's first two-dimensional material. Synthesis of graphene can be accomplished in various ways. One of the most common is known as exfoliation, where layers of graphite are separated using chemical or mechanical processes. Another method is chemical vapor deposition, where carbon atoms are deposited onto a substrate to form a thin layer of graphene. What makes graphene so special is its unique set of properties. It's stronger than steel, yet incredibly lightweight and flexible. It conducts heat better than any other known material and is a superb electrical conductor. Its transparency and ability to absorb a high percentage of light also make it a promising material for photovoltaic applications. The applications of graphene span across multiple industries. In electronics, its excellent conductivity and thinness make it ideal for creating fast, lightweight, and flexible devices. In energy storage, graphene can enhance the performance of batteries and supercapacitors. It also has potential uses in composites, where it can provide strength, flexibility, and conductivity. Moreover, biomedicine is exploring graphene's properties for applications such as drug delivery and tissue engineering. Despite its impressive properties and potential applications, graphene is not without its challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is producing high-quality graphene at a large scale. Currently, the processes for making graphene are either too expensive, produce low-quality material, or are not scalable. Moreover, integrating graphene into existing systems and applications also poses significant challenges. Clearly, graphene has immense potential, but there are hurdles to overcome. As research continues, we can anticipate advances in synthesis techniques and integration methods, which will help to unlock the full potential of this wonder material. Now, imagine tiny tubes with extraordinary properties. Welcome to the world of carbon nanotubes. These nanotubes, often abbreviated as CNTs, come in two main types, single-walled and multi-walled. Single-walled carbon nanotubes, or SWCNTs, consist of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a tube, while their multi-walled counterparts, MWCNTs, are composed of several concentric layers of these carbon tubes. The synthesis methods for CNTs are as varied as their potential applications. Techniques such as arc discharge, laser ablation, and chemical vapor deposition each offer unique advantages in producing CNTs with specific characteristics. These methods manipulate the inherent properties of carbon to form these incredibly small yet immensely potent tubes. When it comes to the unique properties of CNTs, we're talking about exceptional conductivity, strength, and flexibility. They conduct electricity better than copper, are stronger than steel, and yet are so flexible that they can be bent double without breaking. 
These properties open up a wide range of applications. In the field of nanotechnology, CNTs are paving the way for advancements in electronics, including field emission displays and transistors. They're also making a mark in materials science, helping to create stronger composites and more durable textiles. Even the medical field is feeling the impact with CNTs playing a role in innovative drug delivery systems. However, it's not all smooth sailing. There are environmental and health concerns associated with CNTs. Their small size and potential for inhalation raise questions about health risks, while their production and disposal can have environmental implications. These concerns are part of ongoing research efforts to understand and mitigate the potential downsides of this revolutionary technology. Despite these challenges, the potential of carbon nanotubes is undeniable. From strengthening materials to delivering drugs, they're making a huge impact across a range of industries and fields. As we continue to explore their potential and address their challenges, there's no doubt that these tiny tubes will continue to play a big role in the technology of the future. Carbon nanotubes, despite their challenges, are transforming technology. Moving on to fullerenes, the molecules that resemble soccer balls. These fascinating carbon structures boast a unique architecture, where 60 carbon atoms form a hollow sphere, much like a soccer ball. This is the most common type of fullerene, referred to as C60, but fullerenes can also comprise 70, 72, or even up to 500 carbon atoms. The method of synthesizing fullerenes is quite intriguing. One of the most common methods is the arc discharge technique, where high current is passed between two graphite rods in an inert gas atmosphere, leading to the formation of soot, which contains these marvelous structures. Fullerenes possess some remarkable properties. They are superconductors at low temperatures, exhibit high electron mobility, and can absorb free radicals, making them excellent antioxidants. Moreover, their hollow structure allows them to encapsulate other atoms or molecules, leading to a new class of materials known as endohedral fullerenes. The application of fullerenes is vast and diverse. In photovoltaics, fullerene derivatives are used as electron acceptors, enhancing the efficiency of solar cells. In the pharmaceutical industry, fullerenes have shown promise as HIV protease inhibitors and anti-cancer agents, owing to their ability to interact with biological systems. Even in the world of cosmetics, fullerenes are making their mark, utilized for their antioxidant properties to prevent skin aging. However, fullerene research is not without its challenges. The commercial production of fullerenes remains expensive and energy intensive. Furthermore, the purification of fullerenes is a complex process, as the soot produced during synthesis contains a mixture of different fullerene types that must be separated. Despite these challenges, the potential of fullerenes is immense. Their unique properties and diverse applications make them a fascinating area of study in the field of nanotechnology. Fullerenes, though lesser known, have a significant role in numerous fields. Let's compare and contrast these three fascinating carbon allotropes. Graphene, carbon nanotubes, and fullerenes are all composed of carbon atoms, yet their unique structures give rise to vastly different properties and applications. Starting with graphene, the wonder material. This single layer of carbon atoms in a honeycomb lattice is renowned for its exceptional electrical, thermal, and mechanical properties. It's the thinnest, strongest material known to humankind, and it conducts electricity better than copper. These properties make graphene a game changer for electronics, energy storage, composites, and even biomedicine. Now let's talk about carbon nanotubes. These are essentially rolled up sheets of graphene, forming either single walled or multi walled tubes. These nanotubes are incredibly strong and flexible, and they possess exceptional thermal and electrical conductivity. These attributes lend carbon nanotubes to a multitude of applications in nanotechnology, electronics, materials, science, and medicine. Then we have fullerenes, these soccer ball-like structures composed of 60 carbon atoms. Fullerenes possess unique electronic properties and are highly stable, making them useful in photovoltaics, pharmaceuticals, and cosmetics. Despite their differences, there's also a lot of synergy between these three carbon allotropes. They can be combined to form composite materials that take advantage of the best properties of each. For example, incorporating carbon nanotubes into a graphene matrix can enhance the composite's mechanical strength and electrical conductivity. Moreover, these carbon allotropes can be interrelated in terms of their synthesis. Graphene can be rolled up to form carbon nanotubes, 
while fullerenes can be viewed as wrapped-up graphene sheets. This interrelation extends to their applications as well, as they often complement each other in various technological fields. In the commercial market, we're seeing an increasing demand for these carbon allotropes. They're being adopted in industries ranging from electronics to energy, from materials science to medicine. And with ongoing research and development, it's likely that even more applications will be discovered in the future. Each allotrope is unique, yet they all hold immense potential. The world of carbon allotropes is fascinating and we're only just beginning to scratch the surface. What does the future hold for these carbon nanomaterials? As we step into the future, we're looking at cutting-edge research that's pushing the limits of what we know about carbon nanomaterials. Scientists are exploring advanced synthesis techniques for high-quality graphene, optimizing chemical vapor deposition processes, and comparing mechanical and chemical exfoliation methods. In the realm of graphene, researchers are delving into band-gap engineering, tuning its electronic properties for semiconductor applications. It's a fine dance between material and substrate, a dance that could redefine the future of electronics. Carbon nanotubes aren't left behind, of course. Functionalization of these tubes through both covalent and non-covalent modifications opens up a world of possibilities. Imagine targeted drug delivery using functionalized carbon nanotubes. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now. But as we race ahead with these innovations, we cannot ignore the potential societal impact and ethical considerations. Nanotechnology, as transformative as it is, comes with its own set of challenges. How do we ensure the biocompatibility of these nanomaterials? What is their environmental footprint? Researchers are already assessing the toxicity of carbon nanotubes and fullerenes in biological systems and conducting life cycle analyses of graphene-based products. In the realm of composites, graphene and carbon nanotube combinations are enhancing mechanical properties and improving electrical and thermal conductivity. Energy applications are also under the microscope, with graphene's potential in photovoltaic cells and carbon nanotube-based electrodes being explored for fuel cells and batteries. We're even investigating quantum transport in graphene and carbon nanotubes, exploring ballistic transport and quantum conductance phenomena. And let's not forget about novel fullerenes and fullerene derivatives. The synthesis and properties of heterofullerenes and potential applications of endohedral metallofullerenes are also on the research agenda. Scaling up production while ensuring environmental sustainability is the next big hurdle. But with the rapid advancements in this field, it's a challenge we're ready for. The future of carbon nanomaterials is bright, promising, and full of challenges. Let's wrap up our journey into the world of carbon allotropes. We've delved into the microscopic realms of graphene, carbon nanotubes, and fullerenes, uncovering their unique structures, remarkable properties, and diverse applications. From electronics to medicine, these carbon-based wonders are revolutionizing industries, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Just imagine a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice, graphene, is redefining our understanding of electricity and heat conduction. Carbon nanotubes, with their unparalleled strength and flexibility, are set to redefine materials science. And let's not forget fullerenes, with their potential to revolutionize photovoltaics and pharmaceuticals. These carbon allotropes are more than just scientific curiosities. They represent the potential for groundbreaking advances, solutions to global challenges, and the promise of a more sustainable, efficient, and technologically advanced future. As we continue to explore and innovate, carbon allotropes hold the key to countless breakthroughs in science and technology.